here, and now we're going to talk about the risk transfer system, okay? Shadow banking was taking advantage of some developments that are really relatively recent um, in, that come from modern finance. Um, securitization is one, okay? Securitization came with financial globalization. Once you have, you, you, you know, you're not going to transfer individual small loans uh, uh, across across borders, but once you package them together into bonds and they have a market price, you can treat them. Uh, foreign foreign uh, asset managers will buy and sell them. So financial globalization and securitization went together. Further, the development of global capital markets. Uh, we have the development of of derivatives markets for moving the risk around. Uh, and this tranching system was an awkward approximation. Of, 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 of proper derivatives here. So what I'm showing, um, just as a, as a kind of stylized example, I'm going to build on this. I'm showing a shadow bank now. This isn't what they really look like, but you could Im conceptually you could imagine them to be like that, holding residential mortgage-backed securities, funding them in the money market, um, and stripping out all the risk using derivatives. So not tranching anymore, but all the risk using derivatives, interest rate swaps, foreign exchange swaps, CDS, whatever you have. If you can get, we know this now from the last couple lectures, that if you could get the right set of derivatives, I mean, it's an idealization, it's probably impossible in practice, but if you could, you, you, conceptually, you could strip out all the risk and wind up with a combination that's basically like a quasi-treasury bill here. You know, it's, it's, you're, you're transferring all the risk over to here, okay? And a quasi-treasury bill, you should be able to finance in the money market, and there shouldn't be risk involved in that, um, at least not price risk. I'm sh so that's one side of it. The second side is thinking about the asset manager. And we now remember what I was talking about, this quote of Fisher Black last time, about how one person would fund the loan, another person would bear the interest rate risk, another person would bear the credit risk. Okay. Well, I'm showing a way that an asset manager can get exposure to his customer for his customer's capital to risk return, um, not by holding any risky assets, okay, but entirely with derivatives. That a, a long position in derivatives and exposure to risk here is equivalent to outright holding of the residential mortgage-backed securities. It's equivalent. Okay. So you could this is a sort of simplified version of a shadow banking system. Instead of having all those seven layers and the tranches and da 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 da, you could get all the risk transfer, ideally, just by having taking stripping the risk out here and moving it over here. Okay. I think that's what the shadow banking system was trying to do, and I think that's probably what the future of shadow banking is going to look like.